Hey folks, your OS Reviews. You're watching our video unboxing and first look at the RARC Audio MR1. This is a stereo Bluetooth speaker set that integrates a subwoofer, which is quite impressive for the size of these things, and they retail online for roughly 350 bucks, which is slightly on the pricier side of the spectrum. In terms of specifications, we have a dimension of 170 times 130 times 135 millimeters, so they're about this large when they sit on your desk, so it takes up a little bit of space, so make sure you're aware of that. It also has a line and audio function if you don't want to use Bluetooth. In addition, there's about 20 watts of nominal output. There is a Bluetooth aptX support on here, so the quality of the audio should be excellent. And there's also, again, that wood textured finish, a 75 millimeter woofer built onto the unit. And overall, this is, again, and custom designed by the manufacturer, so the audio quality should be excellent. A little bit more information about RARC Audio. Uh, their products are typically sold in the UK and in some other European nations, but they're recently launching some products here in the US, so this is one of their first devices that are actually bringing over, which is quite exciting for us to see. The box that comes in is rather large. You have some basic information about the unit along the sides and also on the back, and opening it up on the front here, you have access showing all the contents of the packaging there. And right on top, we have access to the user manual as well as warranty guide that you can take a look at. So it's relatively nicely documented. It's actually quite thick. It goes through all the functions and shows you how to set things up on your desk in multiple languages as well. Just a warranty card once more. Over here, we have the custom design remote. It uses a cell battery as opposed to a traditional AA or AAA batteries, which is unfortunate because it's kind of difficult to replace. With that being said, it's uh, re relatively nicely placed in terms of the functions. Buttons are tactile, responsive, and easy to press, and you have access to the volume controls, pairing to Bluetooth, line-in modes, power on-off switch, and also a mute switch. Over here, we have the AC adapter brick, and as you can see here, this is what plugs into one of the speakers for power. This so we also have in a line-in cable that connects the two speakers together for creating the stereo sound. And this is also the extension cable for the AC adapter. Below the styrofoam, we have access to the two speakers lying right on top. We'll take a look at the design of the speakers in a moment. And that's basically it. That's all the contents you have in the packaging. So taking a closer look at the actual design of the speakers next, again, they're crafted out of wood. With that being said, for the size of these things, I expected the weight to be a lot heavier, um, but they're actually quite lightweight. So if you are traveling, this is a plus. Um, they don't weigh that much, uh, surprisingly, which is good. Taking a look at the design, they are pretty classy. They don't offer a terribly flashy look or design to them, but uh, at least it looks like something that's going to match, I guess, your furniture around your house, which is good. And taking a look on the bottom of the speakers, you have access to a metal accent that says Work Audio. On the very back, you have access to four rubber feet, which prevents the speaker from sliding around on a desk or a surface. And the back is also crafted out of aluminum, so it feels ultra sturdy. You can see this one sort of left, and you also have the access to uh, the input from the right speaker, and that's basically the design. The other one is virtually the same, except the top offers the power on off switch. You can also kind of twist it to adjust the volume manually. You also have access to the Work Audio logo on the bottom. And on the very back, we have access to the input to the left speaker, the AC adapter, there's no built-in battery on here, a subwoofer key, and also an input if you don't want to use Bluetooth. There's also an input level that you can set from high to low, and that's, again, on the design. So overall, pretty attractive, but not anything too flashy. Anyways, guys, this has been our brief video unboxing and first impressions of the Rourke Audio MR1. Our full review is also going to be posted after a bit on our website as well as here on YouTube. So if you're interested, be sure to keep posted for that. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.